Good morning, welcome to Sewing Saturdays. Today we are covering the circle skirt. We're gonna cover how to draft a circle skirt from a block, and we're also going to talk about how to get a circle skirt pattern on the fly. So, <clears throat> I have posted a um, cheat guide for the circle skirt, and that is on my website. And I also have um, these options for this pattern here. This um, mini block so that you can practice with us is on my website if you are interested. So um, <clears throat> this is on the shop. If you wanna follow along, this mini block is on the shop. If you go to my link in bio under shop, you can print off the mini blocks if you want to follow along. So what we're going to do is, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm going to make a circle skirt today, show you guys how to do that. Um, I made a circle skirt this week, and um, a circle skirt is um, a skirt that has pattern that goes all the way from side to side. So it's one full half of a circle. So it drapes really nicely, um, it's flat at the waistband, and it's one full circle all the way around. So this is what we're gonna be talking about and making today. I'm gonna show you how to make one from a block. If you have a pattern block, if you have a skirt pattern, um, this is the mini pattern. You can find this in the shop under, um, my link in bio under shop, you can print this out if you want to work along with us. So first I'm going to work on the block. The block is to fit the mini mannequin. And then after I show you how to get the block into the circle skirt, we're going to do um, an on the fly just from measurements. If you did not have a block, how you would get a circle skirt without the block just onto the fabric. So. I'm going to start here. Just move my table so my camera's not shaking so much. Morning, everybody. Okay, so the first two things that you're gonna need, you're gonna need two measurements to make this skirt. You're gonna need your waist measurement and then you're gonna need your waist to however long you want your hem to be. So um, for this example, I am gonna do um, probably just a shorter skirt. But the skirt that I made here for the mannequin is um, a waist to floor skirt. So um, these are like special occasion, bridesmaids, um, prom, that kind of stuff. This kind of skirt's really popular. Um, you could tell it's a circle skirt because it goes all the way, the side seams go all the way up um, parallel to your waist and um, they're flat at the waistband. So it's not actually gathered at the waistband. It fits into the waistband, and then the circle skirt is what drapes down. And these look really, really nice in thinner fabrics. Um, this kind of skirt has made a comeback, you know, over the years in different, different ways. Um, it was the most popular in the 50s with the housewife skirts in the full circle, poodle skirts. Um, so this is the kind of skirt we're looking at. This is actually the same skirt. It looks a lot different than say a traditional poodle skirt um, than we're used to. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at um, the two measurements that you need to do the skirt. And then we're going to build out a skirt from this um, mini block. This mini block, if you guys wanna follow along, is in my link in bio under shop. It is free, it's a mini mannequin block, and um, I've created this and put it up. It's the exact same printable. Um, it fits this mini mannequin here that I got from Delaying Dress Forms. If you guys wanna follow along, you can practice with this. Um, but if not, I'm also gonna show you guys how to get that circle pattern on the fly on a piece of fabric from just measurements. So I'm gonna start first with the skirt block and show you the traditional flat pattern method for drafting the circle skirt. Um, we're gonna do the slash and spread method. So first I am going to cut out 
the pattern block. And then I'm gonna show you guys how easy this is to get a circle skirt from a pattern block. Again, if you wanna follow along, this is on my link in bio under shop. You can download it for free, print it out. You can print out just the front block if you want. Um, so you can follow along today. I'm just gonna do the front skirt. And then next week, next week if you want to um, make a skirt for yourself, next week I'm gonna be doing the circle skirt again because I've got more resources coming this week. So I am just cutting out the skirt block and I'm gonna show you guys the slash and spread method. So this, this skirt block fits this mini mannequin here. And so you need two measurements and two measurements only to make this skirt. You need your full waist measurement, so all the way around at the waist, right? And you need this measurement because you need to know, oof, you need to know your waistband size, right? Because you need to know if you want this waistband to fit nice and flat, and then the skirt needs to fit right up to the waistband without any gaps or gathers. So you need your waistband measurement, and then you need to know what your waist to what your hem is gonna be. I'm gonna do eight inches on the mini mannequin. Um, on this mannequin here, I do have a full length skirt um, and my full length from my waist to my hem is 43 inches. So this is a long, long, long skirt, um, special occasion, um, different, you know, any kind of, it's a long skirt and I love it. So it's super flattering. This fits high waisted, you can do any, any height you want, but I think this skirt works the best at the waist and then, um, you know, any hem, any length. So the measurements that are important, full waist measurement and then your waist length to however long you want the hem to be. So I'm gonna use eight inches for this example. And I am using first, we're gonna build it from a pattern block. So if you don't have a pattern block, for yourself or for your client or mannequin or whatever you're gonna use, you can print this out so you can follow along with us. If you go to my link in bio under shop, you can print out this block so you can follow along. So I'm gonna show you guys what a lot of people call the slash and spread method. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw your lines you're gonna draw your lines perpendicular to your center front here. So I'm gonna draw, um, I'm gonna split it into six. So I'm gonna do the dart straight down here. And then I'm gonna do two more. Now the reason that I'm doing so many is because I want this, it has to open up completely. So the circle skirt means that the The um, center front is gonna be on your fold, and then the side seam is gonna be all the way out on the selvage. So you're gonna cut all of these lines, and you're gonna open them up. So when you cut a circle skirt, for it to be a true circle skirt, now it can be any variation, any amount of fullness, you could do less if you don't want it to be completely full. If your fabric is a little bit stiffer, you might not want it to be as full circle. So I'm gonna show you how you can decide how much fullness you want. And again, this method is the flat pattern method, but I'm also gonna show you guys how to do it on the fly. So my cheat, kind of like my cheat sheet, so this pattern has a dart in the front. So you are gonna close the dart using your slash and spread because you don't want a dart. You want that front, front skirt to lay nice and flat against your waistband. So you see on this mannequin here, there are no darts across the front of the skirt. And you might be wondering, how do you do that? This here is my dart. So what you're gonna do to close up the dart is you're literally just going to overlap here 
you're gonna overlap so that there's no more dart. You're gonna close it up. And then you're just gonna tape it. Tape it down to close up this dart. And that makes it go bye-bye. So now you have what's called transposed. You've transposed this dart into the hem. So this here is that dart just at the hem. So the next thing we're gonna do is, to get the full circle, is you're going to lay out your skirt block so that all of the fullness comes to the hem. To make it a true circle, your half of your first half of your skirt block is going to be one quarter of your skirt. So you're gonna do on the fold at the center front. I'm just gonna retape that so it's not annoying me. So the is the um sorry, this is the center front. It's gonna be at the center front line, will be on the fold. And then this side seam is gonna be on the salvage line. So this is a quarter of your skirt, right? So the way that you know that it's a true circle skirt is your side seams, front of the skirt has both side seams across the salvage edge of the fabric. So that's how you know it's a true circle because the front skirt is one full semicircle. That's how you know. So if I were cutting this out in fabric right now, which I'm not gonna cut this one out, but I am gonna do my on the fly, I'll cut that one out and I'll show you guys why. So this is your fold, right? We'll do our fold this way. Here's your on the fold. This is your center front waist down to hem, okay? So we're going to lay this out like this. So you've got your center front down the front of the skirt, and then you've got this side seam up here along your selvage edge. And then you would just spread these out and pin them down. And this gives you your full circle hem. Can everybody see that? Does anybody have any questions on this? This is gonna be the circle skirt. This is the flat pattern slash and spread. I've taken the block. Um, I have this skirt block on my shop. If you go to my link in bio under shop, this skirt block is available if you guys wanna follow along. I've just cut six different lines up the middle of the block so that, up the, um, up the block so that I can slash and spread. So if I were to cut along this hem here, this is gonna give me my full circle, okay? And then you would cut up here, this is the waistline. So the waistline, and then you would just make sure that you account for um, your, account for your seam allowance. And if you have a hem, the thicker your fabric, the thicker the hem. So if you're working with like a wool, you're making a true poodle skirt with that thicker pink wool that they use, um, that you need a thicker hem. So, you know, one to two inches on those is pretty standard. Something like this, this is chiffon. Um, this is a thin double rolled one eighth to one quarter um, rolled hem. So this circle skirt though that we're gonna make today, so I'm gonna cut one out and I'm gonna show you guys, once you cut it out, how it lays, cause this fits this mannequin here. I'm sorry for the shaking. Okay, so another thing, um, sometimes you don't have a skirt block, right? Like this is super, super easy to just slash and spread it out, but sometimes you don't have the skirt block. So what are you gonna do? The client sends you measurements and all they have is their waist measurement and their um, the length that they want the skirt to be. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your waist measurement. This is my cheat guide on the fly. So this one says 13 and a quarter. So this is 13 and a quarter. So what you're gonna do is take your waist measurement and you're gonna add your ease. And you're gonna add your um, seam allowance, some ease and some seam allowance. So you wanna be able to move 
number one. If your waist, say, is 13 or say it's 45, it doesn't matter. It's all the same um, calculation. So what you want to be able to cut your skirt is your waist plus your seam allowance, and then you're going to divide it by four because you want to have one quarter of the measurement to cut. So here I have... So I have my fold, folds at the top, okay, and then you have, or no, I'm sorry, your salvage is at the top and your fold is down the front. So I know that I need my skirt <coughs> to have, so say this is 13, the waistband is 13, I'm going to add um, my seam allowance, which on a standard full-size mannequin or mannequin or model or whatever, if you want um, 5 8 seam allowance, you just multiply it by two, and that's your full seam allowance because you only have one seam here and one seam over here when this to make the skirt. So you're gonna have your seam allowance on both sides, and I'm just gonna use a quarter of an inch on this so it's easy. So I'm gonna do 13 and a half, and then I'm gonna divide it by four, and I'm gonna take that measurement and I'm going to. Do this here. Can everybody see that? Just kind of making like a curve. So, let's do, let me use my calculator real quick because I put my phone up. Okay. So I need 3.43. Okay. So I need about three and a half. I'm just gonna I'm gonna estimate on my on mine. So three and a half, and I'm just gonna make sure that both of these sides of the pie are the same or relatively the same. And then I'm gonna mark gonna mark that like a uh, quarter circle <laughs> again this is the cheat guide this is the easy the easy cheat guide so I need about three and a half so I'm going to trace my semi my quarter circle of course grab the pen that doesn't work okay so I'm just gonna trace my quarter circle here for my waist And then, because I know that I want my skirt, now you might get a measurement from a client. You might get, um, if you're gonna do this on Etsy, you could, you know, you could make money doing this. These circle skirts are super easy. So this is my line. This is my waistline. So this is one quarter of my waist measurement plus my seam allowance. So one quarter of that measurement I'm putting on here. Now, I know that I want my skirt to be eight inches. Your waist to hem measurement might be, you know, in the 40s, it might be in the 30s, it might be a short, tiny little skirt. So whatever your client or whatever, your, whatever you want it to be, you're gonna do your waist to your hem, and then you're gonna mark it, and then you're gonna go around, and you're just gonna keep marking. I'm doing eight inches. Waist to hem, eight inches. And you just keep going around, all the way around the quarter circle. And you just cut it out. So you also wanna keep in mind too that you need to add your hem allowance. Like I said, the thicker the fabric, the thicker the hem that you need to turn up. If you are doing a thin chiffon fabric, you need half an inch, half an inch to turn this up. So you wanna add that into your measuring down. So for this example, I'm doing the circle skirt for the mini. I have done 
The selvage is across the top. The fold is down the front. I've drawn my quarter, quarter measurement here. So this is my waist measurement plus my seam allowance for both sides divided by four. And I just roughly placed that in. And then I went down and I measured and made dots to cut along for the hem. So I'm just gonna cut this out and I'm gonna show you guys how quickly this, how quick this is. It's like one of the easiest things. So I just went around and I just consistently cut at eight inches because that's what I wanna show for this mannequin. And then I'm also gonna show you guys at the waist to make sure that I have that seam allowance space. Just pay attention to that because you wanna make sure that you have it. And if you have really thick fabric, you might have to clip so to make a true circle skirt, both of the side seams here are parallel. They're along the same line. They're along the same selvage, okay? So the circle skirt is an entire half of a circle. It's like that. So the circle, the, the um, side seams run along the waistband and it gives you the full circle. And you can tell that this fabric hangs a little bit differently than this fabric here. This is a much, much thinner fabric. And again, if you had like a thick wool, like a suiting fabric, like a poodle skirt fabric, you're gonna have a lot less drapey looking and a lot more um, stiff looking. So I have some um, junior bridesmaids to make for my sister-in-law's wedding, and I'm gonna be cutting the circle skirts like this, one out of um, like a satin, and then the, uh, the top layer out of a, uh, like a chiffon fabric. So they look like this for the skirts. So this here is your circle skirt, right? And again, I covered two different ways to get this. So all you need is your waist, full waist measurement, and then your waist to your hem measurement, how long you want that to be. So um, we looked at the flat pattern way to do it, which is the slash and spread method. So I took my mini mannequin block, right, and I sliced it up. Um, you just divide it into equal parts and make slashes and then I just left them kind of attached at the top so that I can manipulate them a little bit better. And then you just lay them out so that the center front is along the fold and then the side seam is all the way up to the selvage so that it is one full quarter of a circle so that when you cut it out on the fold you have, sorry, a whole half semicircle is one front of the skirt. So then when you go to make the skirt, I usually put the zipper down the side and um, all you have is two side seams and then a waistband. So then the waistband for this one here, I just took my waist measurement and then I added the seam allowance for each side and then I doubled the width that I wanted tall. So I just made it um, three, what is it? One inch, one inch, half inch, half inch. So three inches tall by the waist, waist plus a half inch wide. So you need that waistband to set the skirt to here. And I do have a post on this. I'm gonna be doing this exact same class next weekend if you guys wanna sign up. Um, because I have mini bride, uh, junior bridesmaids dresses to make. Um, so I'm gonna be working on circle skirts all week and I figured I would bring you guys along with me so um, you guys could see how to make them and how easy they are. So just from two measurements, the waist, full waist measurement, and the side down, so waist to hem, length of the skirt that you want, those are the only two measurements that I took and I cut this from just those two on the fly. And the way that I did that was I took my um, waist 
measurement plus the seam allowance and then I divided it by four and just placed that on the top corner and then I just measured from the waist down to the hem all the way around and then I cut it out. So I'm gonna have a video of that today and I'm also gonna have, um, I already have up on my blog, I have a cheat guide to the circle skirt where I am making this skirt here from start to finish. So um, I wanted to get on and ask you guys if you have any questions on this here. We showed the flat pattern method slash and spread method for this here. If you wanna follow along with this or you wanna try this out for the mini mannequin because it only takes a very small piece of fabric, um, you can print off the mini skirt block, which is on my, if you go to my link in bio under shop, this skirt block is free to print out so that you guys can follow along. I split up the mini skirt block into six equal parts and I made um, lines and I just cut all the way up almost through the top, but I left a little bit of space so that I could um, open them up. And then I closed up the dart and did what is called transposing. So I took this piece here and I laid it on top of that dart leg so that the dart that is normally at the waist is then split into the hem. And that's called transposing the dart. So with this skirt, this type of skirt, which is the slash and spread method, got a hair, there we go. Um, you can make this any fullness that you want. So you could make this an A-line skirt, you can make it a full circle, you can make it you know, just enough to transpose the dart and it would be flat at the waist. So for this example though, we're doing the full circle skirt. And the reason that it's a full circle skirt is because the front of the skirt is one full semicircle, one half of the circle. So I know that it's a half a circle because the side seams run along the waistband on both sides. So it's one full half of the circle. And the way that you get that is putting this front, front here, the skirt front down the fold, and then you run the side seam along the salvage edge at the top. And then these here at the bottom are gonna give you your marks to cut along for the hem. So you just wanna make sure that you're paying attention to the waist, um, seam allowance so you want to add the seam allowance here and you want to add this the hem allowance at the bottom to make sure that you have enough hem allowance again your hem allowance de is determined by the thickness of your fabric if you are doing a poodle skirt if you want to make some poodle skirts to sell for Halloween you would do uh, it's like a thick wool fabric to make the poodle skirts traditionally if you're doing satin you can get away with the um, half inch, total quarter inch turned um, double rolled hem um, that I'm gonna be showing for this skirt here. So this, um, this kind of skirt, if you're doing a thick suiting fabric, wool fabric, you're gonna want a one inch turn up to two inches turned up um, for the circle skirt because that is uh, what's appropriate for a thick fabric. Think like a peacoat. Peacoat has a really thick turned up hem um, if you're wearing a really thin, lightweight jacket, it has a very thin hem at the bottom. So you want your hem allowance to coordinate with the fabric that you've chosen for your skirt. So, and then another thing, this, if you use, so this is just muslin, this is cotton fabric, this is how this looks draped, right? This is the drape to it, and what I mean by drape is how it lays. It's kind of stiff, it's, it's sticking out a little bit. It has this nice, cute, like flouncy look to it. This, this is Georgette Chiffon. It's very, very thin and it drapes. So it falls straight against the skin and looks absolutely gorgeous. So this is a true circle skirt and um, you can cut these by just two measurements the waist measurement and your waist to hem measurement. Um, if you were to take orders, you could ask for those two measurements and you can make the entire skirt um, based on this, just those two measurements. 
So these skirts here, this I like to use for special occasion. Um, again, I'm making my daughter's um, junior bridesmaids dresses for my sister-in-law's wedding. And I'm gonna be cutting circle skirts this week out of um, satin. And then I'm gonna do a layer of chiffon on top. So I'm gonna be doing circle skirts this week. And that's why I wanted to, um... hi Sherry. Hi Sherry, how are you? Um, I wanted to show you guys the circle skirt. So again, I'm gonna be showing this all week and I'm gonna be showing this class again next weekend on next Saturday. I'm gonna be doing circle skirt in full detail. I'm gonna sew through. I'm gonna be talking about how to sew this, but I'm gonna sew through a circle skirt next week as well. Um, but I just wanted to pop on and talk to you guys today about how to draft this, how to get that pattern and how to cut it on the fly because that's how I cut this one. I cut this one just by taking the waist measurement and the waist to hem measurement, folding the fabric in half and just cutting it. So um, sometimes we don't have the pattern block. Uh, if you guys are interested in the pattern block, this mini mannequin pattern block for practice is available on my link in bio under shop. You guys can print that out and follow along. Um, sign up for my newsletter because that's going to be going out Wednesday morning for next week's class all of the materials that you need um, for making a circle skirt so I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to see this first and then know that we're going to be making a full circle skirt next week on um, Saturday morning I'm going to be sewing the entire skirt together um, couple cool things this skirt here because it's in chiffon um, I did do French seams so that the seams are encased. And um, so on the inside here, the seams are encased inside themselves. So there's no raw edges on the inside of the seam, right? This one needs pressed obviously, but so here's your seam. And I'm gonna hem this for camera too. So here's your seam and then there's no, no raw seam. So that's a French seam. And I'm gonna have some videos that I'm posting this week, so make sure that you're watching out for those um, on how to do this. But the cool thing that I'm gonna show this week, which is um, a little bit different than things that I've seen before, I'm gonna do that French seam, but I'm also gonna show you how to put a zipper in the French seam. Because when you sew the French seam, you're basically sewing it two times, and then you don't have, you have to leave space for the zipper. So you need to make sure um, that you're checking out for this week. Um, I'm gonna post videos on the process, full process of this skirt. And um, I already have the blog post up on the cheat guide for this skirt. So if you wanna see that, that's already available um, on my blog. And I'm gonna be posting all this week on how to sew this, how to do those French seams. I'm gonna do how to attach the waistband. And I'm also going to be doing a full sew through for next Saturday. So I'm going to be cutting out, um, like I said, those junior bridesmaids dresses that I have for my sister-in-law's wedding. I'm going to cut out um, both skirts. I have two skirts to do, but I have to cut out one in one layer of satin for each and one layer of the chiffon for each. So I'm going to be showing you guys all week how to make it through these circle skirts, no matter what fabric you're using. So the satin, um, you can definitely sew and then you can serge the inside of the satin or you can do the French seams like I did on this one. But I definitely like to do the French seams on the chiffon so that it doesn't um, ravel on you. Um, I think it holds up a lot better if it's something you're gonna wear. If it's a special occasion, you don't think you're gonna wear it that much, you don't have to do that. Can we see the bridesmaids dresses you're going to be making? So I am doing, I don't know where they went. Um, I have my inspiration pictures somewhere. Um, so this is the fabric. I've got satin, satin, pink, and then the chiffon pink that goes over top of it, like that. And then um, the junior bridesmaids dresses, I'm just gonna do the circle skirt for the bottom. 
and then it's going to be because my daughters are eight and ten it's going to be just a simple um, shell at the top with straps um, I don't know where those are at I don't know where my pictures are. I will post this week um, pictures, uh, the inspiration picture, and then how I work through the skirt. Um, my sister-in-law's wedding is gonna be, one is lilac, one is bubblegum pink, and then my little girls are gonna have gathered, so I have four girls, and then my little tiny girls are gonna have gathered skirts, like tutu skirts in the same fabric. So um, <clears throat> that's what I'm gonna be cutting for these guys dresses in total how long will these take you um i have four four dresses for my four girls that i have to make and i'm hoping that they won't take me more than a week or so um i'm just going to be working on them here and there so that i can film my sister-in-law has given me permission to film the um the process of making them so that's going to be really exciting to show on camera how they come together um the little little girls dresses are just gathered tutu style skirts. So I don't think that those will take me more than a few hours to make um, total because I have to make the crinoline and everything. But buying the fabric was a lot cheaper than um, buying the dresses and I couldn't find, um, she wants the two little girls to have white shells and then the tutus on the bottom. So I couldn't find those on um, online in the style that she wanted. So I'm just gonna make them. Um, because I think you guys will really enjoy it and I think it'll be really fun to film the entire process of how they come together. So I'll be making these dresses um, probably this week and next week maybe. I am gonna cut the um, junior bridesmaid skirts, the circle skirt like this, just like this, um, and I'm gonna save those for camera um, for next Saturday. So I'll sew one full skirt with one layer of chiffon and one layer of satin and I'll work through the entire skirt on Saturday so that you guys can see how that goes together. Show us how to sew the crinoline as well. Yeah, I can do a class on how to sew the crinoline. Um, I'll show you guys uh, what I get together for Saturday. I'll show you guys what I have, but I can do some videos and some full tutorials on um, how to make one because um, I'm gonna have to make one for the, dr the, skirt, the dresses as well. So that could be fun. Um, these are like super, super easy to do. And um, if you wanted to make them say for Etsy or you wanted to have your own shop or something like that, you could really get away with doing, making a skirt to order by just your waist and your, um, how, long, how long they want the skirt. Um, and you could even do it in um, sizing. So you could say, you know, size, six is this many inches and you know they can choose which size they want um based on you know what you what you make it so i just really wanted to give you guys like the rundown on like how you would do this and kind of show you what your options really are you know as far as how you might you know make these skirts yourself so um again next saturday all week I'm gonna be posting um, the process of cutting these out. I already have a blog post up on my cheat sheet on how to cut the skirt out, um, but I am gonna be cutting these skirts and I'm gonna be cutting the little girl skirts and making the crinolines. And I'm gonna be posting all of that this week. And then on next Saturday, I'm gonna sew through one full skirt, circle skirt with the um, one layer of chiffon on top and then one layer of the satin underneath so that you guys can actually see the full process of how to put that skirt together. And then these skirts are gonna be attached to the bodice. So they'll be attached to the dress, the top half of the dress, but it's the exact same thing as attaching it to a waistband. It's basically the waistband's a straight line and your bodice is a straight line. So, um, if you guys have any questions right now, I'm gonna be working on, um, Probably, I don't know, I'm just gonna be answering questions for a little bit. Um, I'll recap what I covered already, but um, I wanted to show you guys this here, how quick, how quickly this is. This is like super, super quick. I think cutting out the fabric takes longer than it does to make the whole skirt. So um, I wanted to show you guys how you get, how do you achieve this look, you know, with the flat pattern and how you achieve it by cutting it on the fly. 
and then I'm going to be showing. So make sure that you guys are paying attention. Make sure that you sign up for the newsletter. Uh, my newsletter right now goes out on Wednesday mornings, non-spammy. Um, it just has a link to the class, what we're going to be doing for class, which is free on Saturday mornings, every single Saturday morning at noon Eastern time. And then, um, and then I also have a link for my how to draft your own skirt block from measurements. If you're interested in that, that class right now is free. If you go to um, my link in bio under learn pattern drafting, that class is completely free right now to learn how to draft a skirt from just measurements. So I showed you how to make this skirt from having a skirt block, which if you want to follow along for the mini skirt block, this mini skirt block is in my shop, also free. It's a printable PDF, one page. This is a printable that you can print out. This is the slash and spread method. This is flat pattern drafting. So this is how to draft your own pattern. And you can do this, um, like I said, this flat pattern here. How is the waist finished? So this waist here, this waist is a flat waistband. So I have, it's like a long rectangle, long rectangle like this. So if you want, this waistband here is one inch wide, one inch tall, one inch tall, and you would double it. So you've got two inches and then you add your seam allowance and I have half an inch seam allowance on each side. So I've got three inches tall by the full length of the waist and then I add my seam, allow seam allowance on each side. So I always just add half an inch. So I have one inch plus my waist and then I have three inches tall and it's just a long rectangle. And then you just attach it to the top. So you would, this is my piece of, piece of fabric. You would sew it like this. And then when you fold it up and fold it in half, then you have your waistband. And then you can either on the inside, you can smush together. So you could do it like this where you fold it in half and you could sew it together. Um, but I like to sew the inside. So I'm gonna go through the entire sewing process next Saturday, but I do, um, I did a flat waistband for this one. So I have my flat waistband like this, which gets folded in half and sewn to the top so you would fold it down, sew it on, and then it would basically be finished like this around the waist. So the reason that I'm showing it like this though without the waistband is because I am planning to attach this waist to the, the dress bodice or the top part of the dress next weekend. Um, super thin, right? Super lightweight fabric. And then um, next week I'm gonna be showing satin um, satin fabric. This is more traditional, um, like bridal. So this is satin fabric. And then I'm going to show a chiffon layer on top of the satin in the pink. So next week I'm going to be sewing more traditionally the, um, satin with the chiffon layer on top so that it's a junior bridesmaid's dress. I think that's, um, I think that you guys will appreciate that a little bit more because if you were to make these for, Etsy or make them for your own shop to sell them. Um, that's probably what you would be choosing. This is, I actually got this from a fabric discount store. Um, this one is a little bit nicer than the um, polyester chiffon that I bought. I bought the polyester chiffon and the satin from fabric discount warehouse. I think it's fabric, fabric discount warehouse, warehouse, dis I don't know, something like that. Um, and I wanted to show you guys that because that stuff is like $2 a yard. So if you were to price out your skirt, um, this skirt here, I ended up buying a total of, it's like five and a half yards for this skirt, you know? So if you do your five and a half yards times 250 a yard, you're only looking at, you know, $12 in fabric if you just did the chiffon layer. Um, so you could really, you know, 
make these kind of dresses or skirts. And this is, this is a full length. We're talking waist all the way to the floor here. Okay. So you're looking at waist to floor. My waist to floor is 45 inches for a skirt with heels. So this is why it's so much fabric. This here, this is an eight inch skirt. This took, you know, a small piece of fabric. So if you wanted to make something like little girl skirts, you could get away with little girl skirts in a yard or two, you know, and at that point, price point, you're talking $5 in fabric, you know, if, if it only takes you a yard to make the skirt. So um, those are things to consider for these kinds of um, projects. So let me just do the full um, recap, recap of what we covered today, and then I'll give you guys, um, let you guys know what all the freebies are, what's coming this week, and um, what next week's class is gonna look like. So this week we covered the, this is the um, skirt block, which is all cut up now. My skirt block that I have, this is my mini mannequin skirt block. I know it looks a little bit distorted right now. If you want to try this at home, you can print one of these off on my shop. If you go to my link in bio under shop, you can print one off for free. It's a mini mannequin skirt block. Um, that's where those are. If you guys, every time I do class, I use those so that you guys can see this here and that you guys can follow along. So if you wanna print a couple of those out, by all means, please print a couple of those out so that you guys can follow along. So I split it into six, six lines straight up and down, and then I left a little bit attached at the top so that I could, um, this is called the slash and spread. People call this the slash and spread method. So the circle skirt is, the center front is on the fold, and the side seam is all the way up quarter, quarter of a circle on the salvage. So I closed up the dart by transposing it to the bottom. And if you don't know what some of this language is here, please sign up for my newsletter. My learn to sew and learn to pattern draft courses are um, going to be, um, well, I have my learn how to draft a skirt from measurements. We're gonna draft a skirt from measurements. Can it be done as an elastic waistband? Yes, you can absolutely do this as an elastic waistband. All you have to do is decide how far, how much you want your waistband to open. So if you want your waistband, you have to make it over your hips, or you're gonna have your elastic waistband close with a snap, something like that. You have to decide how you want to get it on and off. If you want your waistband elastic to open all the way over the hips, then your elastic waistband needs to be able to stretch over the hips. So the top waist measurement needs to be able to make it over your hips. So you're gonna to have to keep that in mind. So then the elastic waistband will have a little bit of gathers at the waist, but then this, the bottom is the exact same. So if you wanted to have an elastic waistband, you have to decide how you're gonna close it. If it's just going to be straight elastic, then your elastic needs to stretch over your full hips and the whole opening needs to stretch over your full hips. So then you would use your full hip measurement to make the circle at the top of the skirt instead of the waist measurement to make the circle at the top of the skirt. Does that make, does that make sense, Jessica? Let me know if you have any questions on that. If anybody else has any questions on how to, um, how to, if you were to use an elastic waistband instead of a flat waistband. My classes, my live classes, all of the playbacks for all of my live classes are uploaded onto my Sewing Saturdays page. If you go to my link in bio under Sewing Saturdays, that page has all of the future events, what we're gonna be doing in class, and it also has at the bottom, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, I have a playlist with all of my full, the whole hour or two hours or however long I was live, the whole class is playback. Um, on that page. So if you ever miss a class or you make it late to class or you want to go back and rewatch what we did, you can go to my link in bio under Sewing Saturdays and the playback is at the bottom. But make sure that you sign up for that newsletter um, on that page, the Sewing Saturdays page. So I sign up for that newsletter so you will get all of the um, freebies, 
all of the links, all of the updates for all the stuff that um, we're doing for the week or that was sent out last week. Um, I do have up an article that I put up last week on how to do the thin double rolled hem for the bottom of something like this. So I have an article up on my blog on how to hem this kind of fabric. Um, you can also check out all of my um, classes that I have up right now. Right now I have learn to sew classes. I've got beginner classes and I also have intermediate classes and then I'm going to also be doing advanced um, sewing classes. So those are up um, or whatever's up in them right now. And then I'm going to be adding um, videos. I add videos to that every day. So um, that's going to be building a lot. Um, in the next probably two or three weeks, I'm just going to be pouring all my time into that. So I wanted to show you guys here kind of how we're going to do this and let you guys know a heads up for next week that we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna be sewing through an entire skirt so that you guys can see the entire skirt process. Um, again, like I said, I'm gonna be posting videos all this week. I have posted those videos, excuse me, of the process of cutting this skirt out. Um, I'll also have process of sewing the side seams and I'm gonna show you guys how to put a zipper in one of these with the French seams already in it. And if you're not familiar with French seam, again, there's going to be videos up on that too. So make sure that you um, check out my page and um, follow me on whatever platform you're on this morning. Um, and that way you guys can um, check out all these videos because it's going to be a really cool week for sewing and um, learning. And if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to send me um, DMs on whatever social media you're on or... On my website, um, you can even send me an email, Jacqueline at JacquelineTerry.com. Um, I also have a, if you're signing up for the newsletter, I have a, um, a spot on the newsletter submission where you can add in there stuff that you'd like to see. Um, and I think that's it. So we did today the flat pattern circle skirt again. If you wanna try this, you wanna look at this, you wanna see what I've done, this block is under my shop for free. It is the mini skirt block. I use these all the time. I'm also gonna be doing how to, how to draft the bodice block and have the mini bodice blocks available on my shop for free as well so that when you're following along with the pattern drafting videos, you can see how this works. And if you want to draft your own skirt block, for your own body or your client or your kid or whoever it is, the how to draft a skirt block, that class is free right now on my website under learn pattern drafting. So you can learn that from start to finish for free. If you want to um, check that out, you can look through it, You know, spend as much time as you want on it. It's a learn as you go class. So um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I'm going to be posting a ton of videos throughout this week on this skirt right here, how I made it, how I cut it out, how I'm seaming it together, and then I'm going to do some videos on how I'm going to finish it because I'm going to put a zipper in it and um, I'm going to model, I'm going to model this one. So um, next week we're going to be sewing the circle skirt from start to finish. I'm going to have them cut out. So today I wanted to show you how you cut those out. I'll also have some videos, video tutorials on how to cut them out but I wanted to cut this out and show you guys how I got the skirt cut from start to finish, patterned from start to finish. So today we're patterning them. Next week we're gonna be sewing them and in between there's gonna be a ton of videos this week on how to sew them, how to finish them, um, different options. I can do, Jessica, if you're still on, I'm not sure. Um, I, could, I could do a video on an elastic waistband as well, um, some tips and tricks for that. So if you guys have any questions, We'll be sewing this from start to finish next week. So make sure that you're following along and make sure that you're signed up for the newsletter. Um, you go to my link in bio under Sewing Saturdays. Sign up for that newsletter because that's going to have all the information for next week. And um, we'll be sewing those bridesmaids dresses next week. So uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, send me DM on any social media, comment on the videos, whatever you got to do um, to get my attention and I will be happy to help out. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I will see you all next week. 
and thanks for joining.